All right, guys, I'm out here with the Typhon. This is the Typhon Mega. So uh, this is the first time in a while I've had this out. I kind of put this project on the back burner. And this is the 6S project. This is transforming the Typhon Mega into a 6SB. So we're going to see if this thing can take it. Uh, we have done it before. And we had some ESCs go up and smoke. And so we kind of put this on a back burner because we had some other projects. So today is the first day out with it since we didn't get caught up with projects and things. So in and, and life. And so here we go. We're going to run this on 6S and uh, see what happens. All right. Go. <laughs> Already. Go back there. Go back there. There's some back there. There's some. There's some back there. Back tire. Back tire. I don't know. There's some back there. There's some back here. Another part. Okay, we're going. All right, guys. So we had another little incident with this success project. Uh, as you see the tire, the, <laughs> the tire just uh, failed on me, though. The left rear tire. So well, I didn't even get the full speed. I tried to get the full speed. The dog on Typhon took a lift off in the front and lift off in the front and the tire blew. So uh, the tire itself didn't blow, but I guess it did come apart on the side, well unglued, and the and the belt came undone. So I guess we done. Pull it on out. Yep, we blew tire. I know I can't run it like this. Oh, okay. Hey, can I have a bit of a look at it? Just a big old hump right there. Yeah. All of it's gone. It's on rim, man. No phone, no uh, belt in there. That's just his rim? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They feel different now. It feels different now. Oh, my. Yeah, it came down. The thing came off of it. On just on that one part. This is one tire. This doesn't stay intact. You got watch that on something that happened. It's gonna happen. You got watch that on something that's gonna happen. I mean, it still runs though. I mean, it still runs. All right, guys. So I could not get this thing to full speed. Uh, <laughs> I tried to get it full speed, and uh, yeah, both rear tires blew. Uh, blew the uh, belt on them. So. Uh, yeah, these right here probably gonna just be good for some slower speeds. Uh, the tires are still intact, just the belts uh, broke off on both of the, both of the rear. So, uh, think I'm gonna have to just put the G GRPs on here, and we're gonna have to do it like that because yeah, I don't have any matching uh, replacements for these. So we're gonna have to try the GRPs on the next time around. So uh, this is still a continuation project because I still don't know exactly how fast it goes. Uh, I did get it up to 74 miles per hour before before the uh, belts blew on the tire. So uh, so we do know it's it goes 74, and we do know that it has a whole lot more in it because I was nowhere near full speed, full throttle. So. So we're going to try it again. We're going to go back to the table and uh, see what we can do wheel-wise. Put the GRPs in and uh, try it all again. All right, guys. All right, guys. Same video, just a different day. So we had to put the GRPs on and add some weight on the front. So now we're going to try to get a clean 6S pass so we can actually see how fast this thing go. So let's get it. All right. It's going straight. Make sure it's going straight. Yep, it's going. Yeah, it's going straight. It is going straight. Uh, 
We're gonna go from down this way. Here we go. I can't even keep up with it on the camera. That's crazy. One more pass down. I'm gonna try to keep up with it. Let's see what the speed is on this thing. All right, guys, let me pause it here. Well, actually, I can show you. Let's bring it to the other camera here. We got the other camera here. Camera recording the camera. So all right, let's pause that. And let's go to the G. There we go. Don't want that. Alright, let's stop. Read. 86 miles per hour. I think it got more in it. Uh, yeah, 86 miles per hour. So I think it got more in it, but man, just trying to record it and drive it and make sure it stays centered. <laughs> man, it's kind of have you on the edge a little bit, but uh, I'm gonna give it a. I'm gonna get let it cool down a little bit. Let it rest a little bit and then uh we're gonna try one more pass on it i got a little more gearing left in this thing but i don't know if i want to test it out i don't know if i want to go that far with it but uh let's see what we can do i'm gonna try to go all out oh it's not going straight hold on here we go Ooh, stop, baby, stop. All right, last one. Wow, I couldn't get it to stop. I could not get it to stop. There go a wheel there. Oh, this is the corner, y'all. And this is the back end. And that's the, okay. Chassis here. That look like that's the, yeah, that's the, is that the rear or the front? No, that's the rear. Motor is the motor plate is through. Uh, oh yeah, the battery's still intact. Yes, let's see. Steering so, so this is the stock steering servo. It's gone. It's kaput. All right, let's find the other half. Here you go. Let's walk up here. Here's the other half. So this is the rear. This is the rear, y'all. 
So the front is down there. And the rear is up here. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. So my... Okay, my GNS came loose here. It broke from the case. So now let's, we got to find that. Let's see if we can find it. I know it shot way up in the air. I don't know if it's down here in this carnage here. Or is it somewhere else? Man, look at all that. All that money, man. Look at that. Anyway, let's find that box. Oh. Pause here a minute. Yeah, these batteries are no good anymore. They're all smushed in there. See how they smushed in there? So I'm going to uh, draw all the power down out of them and, uh, and, and get rid of them. But let me unhook this. All right, guys. So I did find the... I did find my Sky RC GNSS, so uh, it's intact. And in fact, I did not go faster than 86. 86 is the max, so. And like I said, this thing hit this at full speed because I could not slow down. Like, it was it was not slowing down at all. Like, hit the brakes, and I don't, I don't know what happened, so. But, yeah, now I got a ton of parts. Uh, let's see. The receiver... Yeah, I think it's trash. It came apart. And I'm pretty sure some stuff bent. Yep. Bent and broke off here. So I can get a replacement uh, receiver to, to uh, buy with the radio. This ESC is intact. Yep, it seems like it's intact, but we got to test it and see to make sure. The power button, the cover for the power button came off, but we will see if this uh, ESC still works. This Hobby Wing ESC 150 amp. The motor is still intact. Got a few scrapes on it here. But as far as that, it's still the motor plate is bent real bad. So I don't know if that actually uh hurt the motor or anything the shaft so we're gonna find that out too i know the uh pinion gear is wedged up against the motor plate but something had to happen i don't know if the grub screw came loose on the pinion gear where when i hit the brakes it didn't want to stop or what but that happened before but i was going at a low speed and so but yeah but all right guys we gonna uh, dive into this carnage here uh, once I gather it all up and uh, yeah, and and actually try to figure out exactly what happened. So, all right, guys, if y'all like this video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, hey, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and we'll see y'all on the next one. Yeah.